guys, here are my UFC on FX predictions, the fights are this Friday, and it's been a long time since I've done a prediction video. It's funny, I was just looking online and I'm like, wow, it's really been that long, because one UFC got cancelled, and then the past UFC fights, I didn't do prediction videos for, because I was a little bit busy. Um, I'm going to keep these short and sweet. I'm not going to drag them on, I'm just going to go, go through them pretty quickly. As a reminder, you can always go to MMAgirls.net for all my videos. Also subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be uploading a bunch of different videos with my female fighters so you should definitely check it out. And you can follow me on Twitter at MMAgirls and also on Facebook, just type in MMAgirls. First prediction is Josh Neer versus Justin Edwards and this is a very interesting matchup for me. I don't really know who to pick in this. I'm going to go with Josh just because of experience. He has just, you know, been around a little bit longer. Um, but, I mean, Justin definitely could pull up an upset in this fight. He kind of gets brownie points for me because I've, I found out that he played rugby. And you know I love rugby. So, as much as I'm tempted to pick Justin because I think he, you know, he's he could win this. I'm going to go with Josh Neer. Next prediction is John Dotson versus, I'm going to butcher his name, Josie Formiga. I don't know if that's even close, and I apologize. I'm like horrible with pronunciation, especially with Brazilian names. Um, uh, this fight will determine who will get a title shot, so it's a very, very big fight. Dotson was on the winner of the Ultimate Fighter, and um, Josie, I always make that face because I don't know if I'm saying it right. He is making his UFC debut. Um, people are kind of going back and forth in this fight. I want to pick the Brazilian. I just have this sneaky suspicion. Uh, Dotson's really fast and he definitely could win. Um, but I'm going to go with the Brazilian. Who I butchered your name. I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm going to go with him. Either by submission or by decision. But let's try submission. If if you can keep Dotson down, that's the big thing. Um, I'm gonna go with submission, but if not, decision. Next prediction is Jake Ellenberger versus Jay Haran. And with this fight, I'm kind of rooting for both guys. Jay was supposed to fight at UFC 151, but it got canceled. And he's kind of had bad luck with a bunch of fight cards. And now he's fighting Jake, and Jake is a tough, tough opponent. And if Jay obviously you know beats him. It will be a very significant win, and I'm glad that he's back in the UFC. I want Jay to win, but I'm going to pick Jake in this one. Um, I think Ellenberger just has, you know, I think he's just a little bit more well-rounded and has the tools to win this. So I'm going to go with Jake, I think, by decision. Next prediction is Travis Brown versus Bigfoot. I just like saying his name instead of his real name. Bigfoot. What kind of crazy nickname is that? He's a huge dude. Um, in this fight... I'm going to pick Travis Brown. I think he's just been improving leaps and bounds. I think this is his fight. I think that Bigfoot could catch him in a submission. I definitely see that happening. If this turns out to be a grappling match, I definitely see that happening. But I'm going to go with Travis Brown. I'll go by decision because I think um, Bigfoot might be a little bit harder to finish. So I'm going to go with Travis Brown by decision. And if you're wondering, I'm wearing a pink shirt, but it's not just any pink shirt. It's after like scoot up. It's Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I got mad sweeps. I just love that it has a kind of creepy guy. Like a janitor guy sweeping up stuff. Love it. 